Welcome back to the Today we've got Southern Tier Brewing's Pumpkin. Oh, a pumpkin beer. Yeah. Woo! We're back to the search for the great pumpkin beer. Um, this is by Southern Tier Brewing. Pumpkin is an imperial pumpkin ale. And below it, it says pumpkin pie in a glass. That is a tall order, and that is a bold claim to make for this channel. We have been let down by so many pumpkin beers. I've had people tell me, is, are there any good pumpkin beers? Just based on watching our videos. Are there any good pumpkin beers? One. Two. Two. The two I can think of off the top of my two. head are two. literally from the beginning of this season. <laughs> Jacko by mm -hmm. Sam Adams and then Elysian's mm -hmm. Night Owl. Yeah. Um, we have had a couple, we had finished that pack and the Great Pumpkin had a little more pumpkin than I remember it during the review. But honestly, the rest have all been a lot of letdowns. A lot of letdowns. I think we should go back to Howling Chords from Trader Joe's and see if it stands up. That'd be interesting. Because honestly, like... That one last year. If that's the only beer and then two other ones that have pumpkin, like... Is this a joke? Well, that's why I wanted to try so many more this year. Yeah. Just to make sure that last year, I mean, Rafa and I had like four or five and I was like well maybe we just struck out on a few but maybe mm, you didn't <laughs> but maybe this will change our mind this here says best buy july 28th 2024 what yep <laughs> that's what it says no it doesn't yeah. what the what that's, yeah, that's all We're I got to say about that. We're in 2022, friends. It's September 28th, 2022. That is more than a year out. Southern Tier Brewing is in Lakewood, New York. So shout out New York. Um, Mary, I'm, uh, what, I guess the alcohol in this. It's an Imperial Ale. Imperial Pumpkin Ale. Ales are usually 5%, right? Would you say that? Right. Imperial means more alcohol. I'm going to say 7.8. Is that your final answer? No, 8.1. Is that your final answer? No, 7.9. That's my final answer. That's your final answer? It is 8.6% alcohol. At least I was close with the 8.1. Yeah, I mean, there. even 7.8, 7.9 is close. <gasps> uh, I'm excited to get to it. They do have their own bottle cap, which we love. Um, yeah, thoughts? I'm scared because I feel like the beers that say pumpkin pie in a glass is just the spices, is just cinnamon, nutmeg. Uh, what else do you put in your pumpkin pie? That's it. Pumpkin, nutmeg, cloves. Obviously, they're having a problem with pumpkin in beer. And if they say pumpkin pie, then they can just put the spices in there and you would hope that you trick your brain into thinking, yes, this is pumpkin. I mean, that works sometimes. Though. There's been like one or two that I've tasted pumpkin. Um, and the, the spice isn't bad because at this point, look, we've had stouts, we've had ales, we've had stuff that you just don't taste anything. It's just the beer. And you're like, oh, okay, well, I got got. But I keep saying pumpkin spices like the spices that you put in a pie, not pumpkin spice, but pumpkin spices that you put into a pie are the same spices that you put into an apple pie. That's so if you did a, a couple. If you did a blind taste test and you didn't look at the label, you would say, is this an apple pie or is this a pumpkin pie? I have no idea. Because it's all in your mind. They're getting you, they're getting you. It's all up here, so <laughs> that's enough talking. Let's get to drinking. All right, it's time to find out if Southern Tears really got a good pumpkin ale. There I say no. Yeah, the odds are not in their favor. I've never heard of Southern Tier before. Um, I've seen it around. It's making the rounds online. Oh wow, this smells like pumpkin spices. I feel like we've had some that smell like pumpkin, pumpkin pie, but then they don't taste like it. Who knows? Interesting. Didn't I just say in one of the videos, this smells Ooh. like pumpkin bubblegum? Big spice. Yes. There's something sweet in here. It's like cinnamon and... 
Like one of those spices. It's like maybe it's the nutmeg. Maybe I just yeah nutmeg. I think is what's coming through because it's it's cinnamon and then something else is a lot stronger in there as a spice. Um, honestly, I'm not getting a lot of pumpkin pie vibes, but maybe the taste will be different. I mean, like I said, if you didn't tell me this was a pumpkin beer and you just gave it to me blind and I smelt it, it could be apple or pumpkin. Yeah, it could just be, yeah. It's because it's the spices. It's not inherently a pumpkin smell or an apple smell. Holy spices, Batman. Oh no. Guys, you know that challenge that people used to do? Where they just take the cinnamon and eat Wait, it? Wait, are you being serious? Yeah. I just like drank it. Maybe I got more spice in it. my glass. That was like I poured a jar of nutmeg into my mouth or and cloves together. It was like really strong and bitter. Are you okay? Maybe not. <laughs> not after that. I think that this just tastes all like pumpkin spice. Like not the pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice, but the spices that you put, it, put yeah. in pumpkin pie. In the, in the very beginning, it's almost sweet, but then immediately afterwards, it's like, whoo, it like expands into the spice explosion in my mouth. And it's not even cinnamon. I love cinnamon. This is definitely like nutmeg, clove, allspice maybe. Something you put in a pumpkin pie, but ugh, it's like bitter and very, it's like eating potpourri almost, like floral I would say even. Um, uh, the bitterness reminds me of if you've ever accidentally uh, sprayed like an air freshener in your mouth. Or anything like that, or like if you breathe in when you've sprayed air freshener. You're sounding like you Mary right now. Yeah, it's this is <laughs> this is rough. This I, is very rough, guys. I don't get any of that. Okay, well, what's your experience? I'm not getting any pumpkin. Like I said, it's just all pumpkin spices that you put into a pumpkin pie. But maybe you're just more sensitive to spices than I am because I know that you're sensitive to spicy things and spices, maybe like you're more sensitive to just any kind of spice. Or I just have a more discerning palate. I mean, I'm able to pull things out usually, so maybe this is just like sensory overload. Or maybe I'm just better than you. <laughs> I am not getting the overwhelming flavors that you're getting. I don't get pumpkin, like I said, and like I keep saying, if you would give me this and blind me and Ask me if it's a pumpkin or apple, I wouldn't be able to tell you which one. It's another one of these beers that promise pumpkin pie, and they just deliver on the spice, they don't deliver on the pumpkin. I don't get what's happening here, though. Ugh. I'll finish this, don't worry. And then I think the alcohol, too, is not doing it any favors. I'm getting a lot of alcohol there at the end, I think, bitterness, and... Yeah, that's... That's that's a rough one, guys. I mean, it's definitely a stronger taste than any of the other beers that I've had, but I don't think any of the other beers have been Imperial Ales or anything like that. But it's, I don't know, I like the alcohol kick, but I don't think that this is an alcohol kick. I wouldn't have ever known that. I didn't, I wouldn't have known that this is an Imperial Ale. I just thought that it would be a spicy pumpkin ale. Pumpkin pie ale. Are you being serious? Are you punking me? Ooh, this is rough. People still say punking me. Are you punking so, me? Sometimes, but <laughs> we're not. Yeah. Ooh. Um. Yeah. Uh, do you want to go first with your rating? I don't want to influence you with mine. One more thing. Like I said, I One get like a thing. a pumpkin pie bubble gum flavor smell. and oh. smell oh, wow. both because I think there's something sweet in here like you said there's a little bit of only sweetness. at the beginning and the more sips I take the more it does not taste like that there's a little bit of sweetness in here and I don't know if pumpkin bubblegum or pumpkin pie bubblegum is the right term for it but there's something very 
sweet and it reminds me of drinking like the big league chew or you like drink that huh i said chew right this does not promise on any kind of pumpkin it's just the spices obviously it's just the spices i kind of like it i don't think that i would buy this again but if we had a six pack of this i would finish it and you wouldn't obviously i'm so glad i only bought one bottle <laughs> but i think i give it a Three. I mean, it doesn't wow. deliver on the pumpkin. It's just so much spice, but it's not bad. I like it. It's a seasonal beer. It's not a pumpkin beer, I would say. Very much a seasonal thing. I'm not trying to drink this in the middle of summer. I haven't had something that makes me feel this way in a long time. I have not drank a beer that made me react like that in a long time. Um, even more Jesus. You gagged on that one. I did not. I didn't. But I would rather have even more Jesus than this. Are you being serious, Levi? I am now? dead serious. I got to give this a 0.25. Oh, my this God. This is a drain pour for me personally. You can't put this I video on the YouTube. would not be able to drink this. I can't. Like, like, this taster is enough. Like, this is enough for me. I'm gonna buy more of this just to spite this you. This is the worst pumpkin beer ever. Oh my god! 0.25, and that's only because I did not gag when I drank it. Babe, they tried Maybe I did, though. we'll have to check the footage. You went like this. Yeah, I didn't gag. <laughs> uh, that would give it a, that would make it a zero, but this is a 0.25, I would never buy this again. Steer clear, everybody. I give it a three, I like it. Yeah, so if you've ever had pumpkin, let us know down in the comments below. Do you get that overwhelming, like, allspice nutmeg flavor? Or are you more on Mary's side where it's just, it's spices, but you, there's no pumpkin, nothing too crazy, nothing special? I think what we can both agree on is that we're still searching for a better pumpkin beer. Mm -hmm. We have yet to find one. And by the time this video comes out, fall's almost over. Gosh, I just want a good pumpkin beer. But you know what? Southern Tier has a chance to redeem themselves right now. Next video, we're going to review their pumpkin stout. <gasps> yes, a stout! So if you don't want to miss it, go ahead and slam that bell icon. You'll be notified when we upload that video and every video after that. Subscribe, like, it helps us out. And until next we meet, we're the Brewmatures trying every beer from around the world. One sip at a time. Well, I'm going to give it a 2.5, but I'm going to down the rest of my taster. Zero. <laughs> no, you've never given a beer zero. Welcome, Welcome back, back to Brewmatures. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything about this.